At all cards squad assembled for the cream of the recently graduated collegians faces the Green Bay Packers champions of the National Football League in the All-Star Game of Chicago. This was the curtain raiser of the 1963 season. The nervous All-Stars fumble away the ball in the opening minutes of the game. The Green Bay Packers, considered by many to be one of the greatest teams of all time, send Jim Taylor in to score as they take a 7-0 lead. But out of Grand Rookies gets three points. And they're after more with Ron Vandergellum passing to Pat Richter. This is the pass-catch combination that faced Wisconsin for the Big Ten title in 1962. The second period opens as the Cleveland push the Packers aside to make room for Iowa's Larry Ferguson. The upstart All-Stars take a 10-7 lead over the mighty Packers. The Packers tie it up, but the All-Stars begin a fourth-quarter surge with Phil Thornton of Nebraska racing for a 16-yard game. Washington's Kelly Mitchell challenges the Packer defense and races deep in the Green Bay territory. Bob Jenks boosts the All-Stars into a 13-10 lead. Green Bay seems unable to stop the talent-laden collegiate squad. Ron Vandekillen, who won a job with the Minnesota Vikings, passes to Pat Richter, and Richter rockets to a 73-yard touchdown. Of the year, the 1963 All-Stars humble the world champion Green Bay Packers 20 to 17.